What's up? I'm Troubleshoot in this super quick guide. I'm going to show you how to mod Elden Ring and Night Rain in the easiest way possible. Not only can you play with seamless co-op, but you can also load any other mod, whether it's a field of view tweaker, FPS unlocker, or ultra wide support. This video should help you out. So, to start off at the very top, Elden Ring Night Rain is still relatively in its infancy, mods wise. We're missing a lot of modding content that we had with the original Elden Ring game, so it's going to take some time for things to update and move across. That being said, we've already got an FPS unlocker, widescreen mod, and seamless co op, which is a great place to start. The easiest way to get multiple things working at once is to use a mod loader. The original Elden Ring mod loader does actually work for Night Rain, though the launcher is a bit glitchy, but we'll get to that later. For now, head across to the first link down below, the Elden Ring mod loader, and choose Manual. You will unfortunately need a Nexus Mods account, but once you're signed in, you can choose Slow Download and open the zip once it's done. Here, you'll find a few files and a folder. All we need to do is drop this into our game folder. So, locate Night Rain on Steam, right-click, hover over Manage, and choose Browse Local Files. Once it opens up, head into the Game folder, and we'll find nightrain.exe here, the actual game itself, as well as a bunch of different files. To install the mod loader, just drag all of the files out of the mod loader zip into this folder here. Just like that, we've now installed the Elden Ring mod loader. All we need to do now is either set up an anti-cheat toggler, like the original anti-cheat toggler, and use this, or preferably, at least from what I've seen, the most simple way to get playing Elden Ring Night Raid with mods and seamless co-op is to just skip the noise and use seamless co-op to not only obviously get the seamless co-op mod working, but also start the game without an anti-cheat. This allows us to load mods and things like that. Assuming you don't want to play with seamless co-op, which you pretty much have no reason not to, even in single player, you can download the anti-cheat toggler, extract it to your game folder, and use the toggle anti-cheat.exe file to either turn on anti-cheat or turn off anti-cheat. You can then launch up the game using nightrain.exe. However, you can't use start game in offline mode like we could previously as the Elden Ring mod loader is looking for a different file. Obviously, Elden Ring rather than Night Rain. So, we'll need to wait for the mod loader to update properly before we can get this working as expected. But again, the easiest workaround, skipping the anti-cheat disabler mod and any hassles we have with launching the game with mods, just use the seamless co-op mod. So, if you haven't already got this installed or you wish to update it as there was a new version that came out, choose manual download in the top right, slow download and open the zip where we now have NRSC launcher and seamless co-op which has all of the seamless co-op mod files. All we need to do is surprise extract these once again to our game folder. Just like that, we've now installed Seamless Corp, and we also have an easy way of launching Elden Ring Night Rain with mods and Seamless Corp. That is, using the brand new nrsclauncher.exe. I'd recommend right-clicking and choosing Create Shortcut, where we can then rename our shortcut to, say, Night Rain Modded. Move this file to your desktop, and just like that, we've now got a shortcut to launch the game with mods really easily. To actually install mods, simply open the mods folder all the way up here. This we extracted with the mod loader. All we need to do now is say install mods like ultra wide support, manual, slow download, open the zip, and all we need to do now is drag any files into our mods folder here. Simple DLL files work just like that, or alternatively, if you're, say, unlocking the FPS, manual download, download, as we already have the Elden Ring mod loader, slow download, open the zip. Now, we've got a DLL file and a folder. Once again, we'll select everything and extract it into our mods folder here. Just like that, we've now unlocked our FPS and fixed ultra-wide support. All we need to do to play modded Night Rain is launch up NRSC launcher. That's it. So, double-clicking, you'll see the game starts up, and just like that, we get some info about seamless co-op working, which is great, and you'll see it in the bottom right as text down here, and we should also see that our ultra-wide mod and FPS limit remover are both active. Obviously, I'm recording in 16x9, but you can already see that we're breaking 100 FPS. If I switch to ultra-wide, you can see there's no black bars, and I'm getting a solid 90 FPS, which is obviously above 60. Fantastic, and it feels buttery smooth. Just to prove that this thing is actually working, I'll quickly show you how to uninstall mods. Head across to your game folder once more, open the mods folder, and simply just delete any mods, 
and the respective folders to remove or uninstall it. Just like that, you've now uninstalled a mod. There we go. If I try and launch up the game, either with the seamless co-op launcher or the normal Steam launcher, you'll see how things work by default. While it looks promising, you'll see very quickly, well, we're stuck to 60 FPS once more, and obviously there's no ultra-wide support. This is basically the vanilla game that we've now upgraded to work with us. Fantastic. That's pretty much that. If for some reason you're getting weird issues with the game won't start up properly, simply because of mod load order, as in, I don't know, it's trying to replace your character model, yet another mod adds your character model, and they're trying to load one before the other, you can, for example, head across to your game folder and then locate the mod loader config.ini. Inside of this, which you can open with any text editor, you can set up the load order for your mod DLLs here. So you can open the mods folder and say load ultra wide fix first and unlock the FPS second. You can also use negative numbers here if you wish, but keeping it simple is probably good. That's it. Once you save this, it'll load ultra wide before uncapping your FPS. Most of the time, you won't need to worry about this unless you're using multiple mods which rely on each other. That's it. If you wish to completely uninstall the mod loader and all of your mods, select the mods folder, seamless co-op most likely, dinput 8dll your mod loader config and mod loader log, NRSC launcher, part of Seamless Co-op, just delete all of these, which should remove all of our modded content from the game. That's it. Obviously, if you're using the anti-cheat toggler, you'll have a few more files to get rid of, which are anti-cheat toggler, start game in offline mode, Steam app ID, and finally, toggle anti-cheat and win HTTP. After you delete all of these, your game's back to its default state. That's it. Super simple. Anyways, hopefully you enjoy playing Modded Night Rain. Thank you for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.